Insert your text here. Before we begin if this is the first time you visit to our channel, you consider to subscribe. Trust Dr. Channel Dr. Ez. What is familial Mediterranean fever? Familial Mediterranean fever is an inherited auto-inflammatory syndrome characterized by recurrent short episodes of high fever associated with abdominal pain, inflammation of joints and other body sites and skin rash. If untreated, amyloidosis commonly develops and may have a fatal outcome. Familial Mediterranean fever is the most common of the periodic fever syndromes. In type 2 familial Mediterranean fever, amyloidosis is the presenting feature with no history of typical febrile episodes. Who gets familial Mediterranean fever and why? Familial Mediterranean fever mainly affects specific racial groups originating from around the Eastern Mediterranean Sea. These include Arabs, Armenians, Italians, mild form, Jews, Turks, in these groups, 1 in 25 to 1 in 2000 people are affected. By comparison, in West Europeans the prevalence is 2.5 per 100,000, 1 in 40,000 people. The carrier rate can be as high as 1 in 3 in some groups. Although previously believed to affect only Sephardic Jews, Ashkenazi Jews have recently been recognized to suffer a mild form of the syndrome. Two-thirds of patients develop symptoms before the age of 5 years and 90% by 20 years of age. Familial Mediterranean fever is usually inherited as an autosomal recessive condition, meaning both parents must carry the defective gene and there is a 1 in 4 chance of a child being affected MIM There is a less common autosomal dominant form MIM Molecular Biology and Genetics Familial Mediterranean fever is usually due to mutations in the Mediterranean fever MEFV, or Pirin gene located on chromosome 16, 16 p Mutations in the MEFV gene have been found in 80% of typical cases. More than 100 different disease-linked mutations have been identified. The most commonly reported mutation, M694V, is associated with severe disease and the development of secondary amyloidosis. Other common mutations are M680INV726A. 20% of Ashkenazi Jews carry the E148QMEFV mutation. The MEFV gene codes for a protein called pirin, also known as morainostrin, mainly expressed by inflammatory white cells such as neutrophils and eosinophils. The normal form of pirin suppresses inflammation by downregulation of pro-inflammatory cytokines cell messenger proteins, upregulation of anti-inflammatory cytokines and preventing the production of interleukin 1 beta IL-1 beta by inflammasomes. A lack of functional pirin releases the inflammatory cascade. There are also environmental effects on the manifestations of familial Mediterranean fever. For example Armenians with familial Mediterranean fever resident in Armenia have an incidence of amyloidosis of 25-48%, to 48%, whereas Armenians resident in the USA have an incidence of amyloidosis of 0%. Clinical features of familial Mediterranean fever. The most common clinical features of familial Mediterranean fever are febrile attacks lasting for 1-3 to three days, severe abdominal, chest and or joint pain, erysipelas-like changes on the lower legs. Onset is almost always before 30 years of age. Children under the age of 2 years often present with fever alone, and progress to more typical attacks by the age of 5 years. The characteristics of the recurrent acute episodes of familial Mediterranean fever are described in the table below. Symptom features fever. High, spiking. Lasts 1 to 3 days. Abdominal pain. Effects 95% Due to inflammation of the linings of the abdominal cavity, peritonitis Severe, board-like muscle rigidity, rebound tenderness Associated constipation or diarrhea May mimic symptoms and signs of appendicitis Chest pain Effects 33-50% Due to inflammation of the lining around the lungs, pleuritis Associated with shortness of breath or shallow breathing. 
Less commonly due to inflamed sac around the heart pericarditis, 1%. Joint pain and swelling, arthralgia, arthritis. Effect up to 75%. Due to inflammation of the joint lining, synovitis, with neutrophils. Arthralgia is common, arthritis is seen in younger patients. Three patterns of arthritis are recognized. Asymmetrical non-destructive arthritis presenting as swelling of one to two large joints, most commonly ankles, knees or wrists. Chronic destructive arthritis. Migratory polyarthritis. Skin rashes. Effect 40%. Various presentations, see below. Scrotal pain, orchitis. Effects 5%. Especially young children. Spleen enlargement, splenomegaly. Especially in children. Muscle pain, myalgia. Most commonly post-exercise muscle leg pain. Rarely pain and weakness may last for weeks resulting in an inability to walk, prolonged febrile myalgia. Neurologic symptoms. Effect 10 to 15%. Due to inflammation of the linings around the brain, aseptic meningitis. Headache, one series reported 45% in association with febrile episodes. Abdominal epilepsy. Febrile convulsions. Amyloidosis. Major complication of FMF. May result in kidney or liver failure and death. Can also result in a peripheral neuropathy. What are the features of the skin rash? Cutaneous features of familial Mediterranean fever erysipelas-like lesions. Most distinctive of the skin changes. Occur in 15-20% to of children. Well demarcated, warm, red and painful plaques. Commonly on the front of the lower legs between the ankle and knee but characteristically the top of the foot or over the medial malleoli of the ankle. Up to 15 cm in diameter. Often associated with joint pain. Either unilateral or symmetrical. Henoch Schonlein purpura. Reported in 5% of children. Nonspecific purpura. Reported in 5% of children. Seen on face, trunk and limbs. Frequent finding in children. Polyarteritis nodosa. Rare. Tends to occur at young age. Associated with perirenal hematoma. Angioedema. Reported rarely. Redness of the palms. Reported rarely. Raynaud phenomenon. Reported rarely. What triggers attacks? The frequency of episodes is variable, ranging from weekly to every few years. Attacks may be triggered by exercise, infection, menstruation, stress. Acute attacks settle spontaneously. Between episodes, health is normal. How is familial Mediterranean fever diagnosed? Diagnosis of familial Mediterranean fever is made using the telephone Hashoma criteria. The diagnosis if definite if two major or one major plus two minor criteria are met. The diagnosis is probable if one major plus one minor criteria are met. Major criteria. Recurrent febrile episodes associated with peritonitis, pleuritis or synovitis. Amyloidosis of RR type without a predisposing disease. Favorable response to daily colchicine. Minor criteria. Recurrent febrile episodes. Erysipelas like erythema. Positive history of familial Mediterranean fever in a first degree relative. Investigations. Blood tests during an attack may show. Increased white blood cell count, leukocytosis, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR, serum fibrinogen, C-reactive protein, CRP. Increased serum IgD in 10%. X-rays of abdomen often reveal multiple fluid levels suggesting an acute abdomen. A skin biopsy from the erysipelas-like lesion may show a heavy infiltrate of neutrophils, white blood cells. Leukocytoclastic vasculitis is seen on biopsies from Henoch Schonlein purpura or polyarteritis nodosa-like lesions. Investigations for myalgia, muscle pain, reveal normal muscle enzymes, electromyography, EMG, and muscle biopsy. Amyloidosis most commonly presents as protein in the urine, proteinuria, without red cells or raised blood pressure. 
Gene sequencing can be performed by specialized laboratories as targeted mutation analysis looking for the commonest mutations or sequence analysis of select exons looking at exon 10 and possibly others. Once the gene mutations have been identified in the patient, the carrier status of parents, screening of other first-degree blood relatives even if asymptomatic, and prenatal diagnosis can be determined. Identification of asymptomatic but genetically affected individuals means treatment can be commenced to prevent the development of amyloidosis. Treatment of familial Mediterranean fever. Colchicine, taken orally each day for life, is the drug of choice for familial Mediterranean fever to reduce the frequency of attacks, reduce the severity of attacks, prevent secondary systemic amyloidosis. Colchicine is potentially toxic so it is very important not to take an excessive dose. The dose of colchicine is increased stepwise up to a maximum dose of 2.5 mg per day. The dose is usually determined by the frequency and severity of attacks. Colchicine results in a marked improvement in symptoms for 90-95% of patients, and 75% have virtually complete remission. It is not known how it works. Other treatment. Acute attacks are treated with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs NSAID, and pain relief. Prolonged fever with muscle pain responds to systemic corticosteroids. The most common reason for failure to respond to colchicine is poor compliance due to gastrointestinal upset. However 5-10% do not respond to colchicine and this may be due to ABCB1 gene polymorphisms affecting colchicine uptake by mononuclear cells. Thalidomide and biologic agents, such as daily subcutaneous anachinra, an interleukin-1 receptor antagonist, or etanocept, may then be considered to prevent attacks and the development of amyloidosis. To reduce the severity of an attack, single-dose methylprednisolone or anakinra at the start of episodes have been reported to relieve symptoms.